Hey guys, and welcome back to week 11 of Hand Technique Demystified. Today, we are diving into the world of hybrid techniques. So we now know all the basic playing techniques and we are able to play basically everything that comes to mind. And although those techniques are perfect and enough for a lot of drummers, they do have their limitations in terms of speed. When you want to go faster than that, which is using linear finger movements, you have to come up with a whole new concept. So let's start with the following experiment. What's the fastest way to clap your hands? There are a couple of different concepts, however, it's certainly not this, but rather something like this. You see, with the first way, we have two motions where only one of them creates a sound. We have motion one, sound, and motion two, no sound. Sound, no sound. Sound, no sound. With the second way, we have again two motions, but this time every motion creates a sound. We have motion one, sound, and motion two, sound. So we have sound, 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 sound. Every motion creates a sound. We can only move our hands so and so fast. If we move them twice, but only create one sound, we wind up with basically half the speed that is humanly possible. And the exact same thing applies to drumming. When we create a sound not only when we're hitting the drum, but also when we're picking the stick back up, we wind up with basically double speed. So let's start to use this concept. First we will look at this German style push-pull technique and create it from two different starting points. Starting point one. Go back to this exercise I showed you in week four. Play an open free stroke, leave your hand down and pick it up later. Remember, this was a preliminary exercise for the full stroke. You know, keeping the hand down and picking it up later. Preliminary full stroke exercise. Week four. Now do the same thing, but create a second stroke by the pull or squeeze of your fingers when going back up, like this. So you have down, up, down, up, down, up down, up. So the once silent pickup becomes now a second stroke. You see now why those techniques are very often called push-pull. You push your wrist down and create a stroke, and then you pull your fingers up and create a stroke. So you have push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. When you now go faster, the movements become smaller, but again the principles don't change. Still push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And slowly the fast version would look like this, right? Because you're not, you know, rebounding fully at the fast tempo. So you're basically pushing here and pulling there. Push, pull, push, pull. That would be the fast version slowly right push pull push pull push pull push pull push pull push pull so and let's now create the same push pull technique from a different starting point starting point 2 play a molar pumping motion with only one rebound stroke after each accent like we did over the past few weeks, you know? So this is a molar pumping motion with only one rebound note after the accent. Remember, you know, three rebound notes, two, one. So you do that, like on the hi-hat, you know? You're now already using your fingers passively on the rebound stroke. 
make them active by pulling up on the rebound stroke. And voila, you end up with the exact same push-pull technique. Do you hear how the rebound stroke now became like louder, like more even to the accents? Because we've aligned the rebound with this pulling force now, so we go from here to there. So we can create even dynamics actually, as opposed to... And then you make the fingers active. You end up here again. That's another big advantage of those hybrid techniques. It evens out the, you know, accents and non-accentuated notes of the molar techniques. It makes them more even by giving more power to that second note. You see, and that's why I call those techniques hybrid techniques. We've now combined all techniques that we know free stroke, finger and molar into this one push-pull hybrid. I use this one sometimes consciously but even more often subconsciously, for example when playing fast hi-hat 16th note patterns and maybe getting just a little, too little rebound or power here and there so I have to pull up with my fingers a little bit. So that's already another big advantage of those push-pull hybrids. They rely less on rebound as you enforce the rebound stroke with a finger pull. So they are not only faster, but also more powerful and more independent. That's it for this week. Next week we're going to look at some hybrid techniques for the French position and the traditional grip. Thanks for watching. As always, please hit like and subscribe, ring the bell and visit the website. And I see you all next Monday.